What if you could predict the future? Or even more exciting, what if you could alter the future? Well, SAS Visual Analytics lets you do just that. I'm Beth Ebersole with SAS, and I'm going to show you how you can use forecasting, scenario analysis, and goal seeking in SAS Visual Analytics. Scenario analysis lets you specify future values for underlying factors and determine the new forecast based on those factors. Goal seeking lets you specify a target value for the forecast and determine the values of the underlying factors needed to achieve that target value. Here's a simple example. Let's say I eat a huge dinner. That's my underlying factor. And now I want to forecast what will I weigh if I eat that dinner. That's scenario analysis. Instead, let's say I have a goal in mind. For example, I want to weigh five pounds less. My underlying factor is what do I need to eat? So I'm starting with my goal and then I can adjust my underlying factors to get me to that goal. I may have a profit goal or attrition rate goal or some other goal for my organization. I'm going to demonstrate how this works with a simple example using electricity generation. I start with a publicly available data set that shows electricity generation in the United States by different years, months, states, and different types of energy, such as coal, nuclear, wind. I also have crude oil imports and crude oil production in the data set. I'm displaying the data here in Visual Analytics in a cross tab. I'll add a forecasting page. The most important input is a time variable. You cannot do forecasting without a time variable. You need to have a historic data set that includes a time variable. I'm going to add my date. For my measure, I'm going to include my generation in megawatt hours. The hollow circles here are the actual data and the green line is the model that's been created. To the right of January 2014 is my forecast. This data set ended January 2014. I'm going to extend that forecast. The green shaded area around the forecast is the 95% confidence interval. I could adjust that confidence interval if I wish to. Let's look at some more information about this forecast. I'll expand here. To see my results, now I have a spreadsheet and I can look at what algorithm was used. I see my dependent variable is the generation of electricity and the algorithm used was ARIMA. And I can see the actual ARIMA that was used here. When you use SAS Visual Analytics, there are guardrails around the product. That means that SAS is using the correct method here for time series. In this case, an autoregressive integrated moving average. I'm shocked to see some people try to use ordinary least squares regression to forecast into the future. That is not appropriate. The data are autocorrelated or serially correlated when you have time series data. And that is why you cannot use some of the other traditional methods. That's why you need to use a method that's appropriate for time series data. You don't need to be a PhD statistician to figure out how to use that method. SAS does that behind the scenes here for you. So let's go to the fun part, the scenario analysis and goal seeking. You see here that I can add underlying factors. I'm going to add crude oil imports and crude oil production. I see by the dark green rectangle around crude oil imports that that input is significant. So I'm going to do a what if analysis with that. I'll start by goal seeking, which means let's say I have a goal of how much electricity I need to see generated. And I'm going to change that in the future. I'm going to move that up. I'm just dragging it up. Now I'm going to apply 
and I see how my input, my input of crude oil imports has changed and I see how much I needed to change that, all else being held equal to increase my electricity generation. I can look here and see this same result in my original graph. I can roll over to see the amount that I would need to change my crude oil imports to achieve my goal. I'm going to use my undo button to go back to my original forecast. And I'll try another what if scenario, this time scenario analysis, where I'm going to change my underlying factors and see how that affects my forecast of my electricity generation. So I'm going to change my crude oil imports. I'll apply and I can see what I would expect in the future. I can see that also here and again I can roll over and see my result. You can see that with this particular data set there's a lot of seasonality. We can see peaks in both the winter and the summer of electricity generation. So you see how easy it was with SAS Visual Analytics to not only get a forecast, but to do a scenario analysis where we manipulated the underlying factor, in this case crude oil imports, to see how that would affect electricity generation. And we could do the reverse, manipulate the goal and see how the underlying factor would have to change. In this case, how crude oil import would have to change to change that electricity generation. Can you think of ways that your organization could use SAS Visual Analytics forecasting to help you plan for the future or not just plan for the future, but alter the future? I'm Beth Ebersole from SAS. I hope this was helpful.